Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great travel trailer value from Parkway RV Center. Today, we're going to look at more of an upscale travel trailer than we normally have. Today, we're going to look at an absolute bargain. It's a 2015 Keystone Bullet Premier Ultralight Camper. Keystone calls it the industry's first ultralight luxury travel trailer. And, folks, this thing is nice. It's a model number 312BHPR. 35 feet 7 inches, total length 6,487 pounds, dry weight, two slides, full body paint, uh, beautiful RV inside and out. I'm going to tell you a little history about this camper, folks. Uh, this camper was traded in at a local uh, Chrysler dealer on a new pickup truck. And for those of you who may not know, if you pretty much trade an RV in the probably within 100 miles of the Chattanooga area, on a new car or truck or something like that. We've been in business 50 years. The car dealers call us for the appraisal because they have no idea how to appraise a camper. And of course they trade for it off our figure and then we buy it from them. And that's how we got this one. It's a one owner out of Anniston, Alabama. So it's been a Southern camper since new, bought new in Oxford, Alabama. Beautiful camper folks, got a power awning. Got the thermal package set up for year-round use. Got the quarter-inch ABS enclosed underbelly. Got the quarter-inch uh, fiberglass cap on the front. You know, this is about a $40,000 plus camper new. Of course, this is going to make a lot of people mad who bought one of these new in 2015, but this one's only $18,900. Um, got the optional outside kitchen with electric refrigerator. Got a stove. It's got what they call the Aussie grill, which is inside the unit that sits up here on the back bumper, spare tire, never been off. Beautiful camper, no delamination, double slides, got the 36 inch deep slides, both on this side over here. It does have the black water flush system. I mean, just see if we can squeeze through here. It does have the optional 50 amp electrical hookup so you never have to worry about overloading the electrical system. Got an outside shower. You know, the only thing, and I know you probably can't see it too good in here, is just a couple of these stripes starting just to fade just a tad bit. And I mean, I know you really can't see it back here, but not even worth mentioning but i like to point out the good and bad on everything folks because as nice as this camper is it is a used four-year-old travel trailer got the power tongue jack in here pass-through storage right here you can see how thick there's the power cord that comes with it and i know you can't see it in there but there's the grill in there as well two 20 pound bottles on the front got the headlights on the front this is quarter inch thick fiberglass cap. Gives it a great aggressive look and it helps the aerodynamics too. And what I like about a cap versus traditional RVs is the fact that there's no seam right here on the corners. So that's less issues for leaks later on. It's got the frameless thermo insulated windows so less maintenance involved there. Power awning, LED lights. Got the correct track load stabilization axles where the axles are spread out instead of close together. Makes it have an easier tow. Got hookups out here for an outside TV if you wanted to put one in it. All the TVs are inside the inside of both bedrooms. Got outside speakers, awnings in great shape, needs to be washed, which we're going to do. But the thermal package also has an upgrade 30,000 BTU ducted furnace. And this unit has a 15,000 BTU ducted roof air. Now let's step inside, folks. <clears throat> Beautiful camper. <clears throat> no smoke, no pet odors. And of course, for that 18.9 option A price, we're going to go through this camper, make sure, do an extensive RV component checkout, make sure everything works. Love the colors in here. I know this is kind of darker colors, but I like it. Got the six foot ten vaulted ceilings. It's got a 12 year TPO roof system, which is the same roof system they put on the Walmart Super Centers. I got a 12 year factory warranty on the roof, folks. Now, and it's as close to maintenance free as you can possibly get 
on a camper. Uh, TV, which I've got on, got a st Bluetooth stereo, built-in DVD player, and you can play the inside, outside speakers. Got the glass front cabinets. His and her entrances into the front bedroom. Got a queen bed. Uh, I've got one light that the bulbs burn out on right there, and that's the only one i found so far. But it's got individual reading lights, uh, storage underneath the bed. Got a dirty clothes chute on the other side that goes to the outside. Look up top here. Crank up antenna. Overhead lights. Mini closets on each side. Overhead storage. I know it's a little dark in these closets, folks, but at least you get the idea. Those are finished cabinets, too. That's nice. I mean, you can tell this is a higher-end camper, folks. Control panels right here to the left of the door. Um, and you can turn on your ceiling lights, water pump. It does have the gas electric water heater. Does have the awning control right here. Leather furniture. This is a tri-fold sofa, so it makes a, a comfortable two-person bed. Table booth's going to fold down, make a bed. Let's see if I can open these. Oh, and I've got to have, it's got a safety strap on it. Ah, I apologize, folks. I should have tested that before. There we go. I got a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Bonus. But you've got two big slide-out trays right there. Table booth makes a bed. Folks, this has no odors in it that I can tell. No smoke, no pet odors. Um, no, I don't even smell musty odors or anything like that. I mean, which is unusual. Most used campers have some kind of musty odor, but this one doesn't have it. It's got the nice countertops, uh, microwave, stove top, which probably never been used. Oven, clean, got the eight cubic foot Dometic refrigerator freezer. That's starting to get cold. I really haven't had it on long enough, but we'll see if it picks up. Six degrees. Yeah, I think it's safe to say it works. <laughs> wow, that's actually pretty quick. I only had it plugged up a couple hours. Got the decorative backsplash behind the stove. Gives it a nice look. Um, I like that glass front cabinets. Adjustable shelving in the cabinets in the pantry. Step back through here, and I love these high ceilings. You, you know, it's got a lot higher roof than most travel trailers have, so it gives you kind of a um, less claustrophobic feel. You got the second bedroom back here. You've got this sofa that folds out, makes a bed for two adults. You've got an overhead bunk. Which again, I apologize. I'm going to try to operate one handed. Lower it down. Still got the vinyl protective wrap on the mattresses. I don't think they've used this and on this one as well. TV's back here. Built in ladder right here so you can climb it, climb up to that top bunk. Pretty good bit of storage back here, folks. Remote control, plenty of cabinets. You know, here's the thing, folks. Even if you don't need this room for kids, like say you're going to set this up on a lot somewhere permanent or use it for a weekend home or even a permanent home, uh, this right here it makes a great storage room, hobby room, uh, whatever you want to use it for. That sofa is not even bolted down. You take it right out. You've got, you can use this for a shelf, take the mattress out, use it for storage, for totes. And same thing up here. I mean, this would make a heck of a storage room. And you got a curtain to close it all off. Got a side bathroom. And you can see how little the camper is being used. I hadn't even taken a sticker off the toilet lid yet. Um, got an, an, an entry door from the bathroom. Uh, tub and shower, which stickers. Again, folks, you always look at the stickers in the tub. If they're in good shape, that means the camper hasn't been used much because those stickers get constantly wet and dry, plus hot from the hot water. They don't last very long. And the fact that those stickers look like it's, I mean, that stickers in it don't look like it's been used. So that there tells you um, that this camper doesn't have a lot of use to it. I like the fact that it's got a vent, a battery powered vent instead of a skylight because all the steam from the shower, instead of being trapped in here, 
and uh, potentially causing mildew issues years down the road, you can open that vent, turn that fan on, and it will uh, <coughs> suck the steam out. <coughs> oh, excuse me, folks. Got the outside door, and the reason for this is pretty simple. Keystone Engineers, this is a bunkhouse. They figured, hey, whoever buys this camper is more than likely going to use it for kids. Kids got to go to the bathroom a lot instead of tracking up the camper, going back and forth to the bathroom up 10 times a day. They can go right in here, open the door, and um, and uh, get right up and go to the bathroom, do their business, and go right out without tracking up the camper. And, you know, hey, if you ever run out of toilet paper, just, just open that door, poke your head out the window, and see how friendly your neighbors are. See if they'll hand you a roll. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, I guess you could do that, too. <laughs> That's a great way to get to know your neighbors. But, tell you something, folks. If you're looking for this particular year-making model camper, this is, according to my software, as of right now, is the lowest-priced one on the Internet. Uh, according to my pricing software, which is a third-party software that searches all the websites, uh, all the major sites, dealer sites, RB Trader and RBT and all the other websites out there. And it compiles a list of all the 2015 um, Bullet Premieres, the 312 BHPRs that are on the internet for sale. And it compiles a list and it shows the price. My price of $18,900 is over $6,000 under the average asking price for this year making model on the internet and it's the lowest priced one on the internet as of now now these things I'm sure get listed every day you know you might find one a little bit lower than when you check it but as of today this is the lowest priced one uh, NADA which I don't go by but it's thousands under base NADA value notice I added no options base price 21 to base NADA retail now, folks, and ours comes with stuff that the other ones that are $5,000, $6,000 higher don't come with. First of all, well, ours comes with a complete uh, RV, extensive RV component checkout by my certified RV techs. I've already checked the major stuff. I've checked the air. I've checked the fridge, TVs, lights, slide outs. Both slide outs work great. Uh, power jack, awning works great. Uh, of course, I haven't checked the water system. It's been winterized. I haven't checked the propane system. But this unit will be completely gone through by my RV technicians after purchase. And we'll go through a very extensive RV component checkout list that covers, I'd say, at least 95% of everything on this camper, if not more. Uh, in fact, the only few things that it doesn't cover is the TV, which obviously works. Um, and... Um, of course, it covers all of that, and anything on that inspection sheet that may not function, we will repair or replace at no additional cost to you. In other words, folks, in layman's terms, for $18,900 haggle-free, you're going to get a fully functional, ready-to-take-to-the-campground, 2015, Premier by Bullet, Ultralight 312, BHPR. You're getting one fully functional, load your stuff up, load your family up, Take it to the campground right from the dealership. Only thing you got to throw in here is some food and luggage. That's what I'm. That's what you're getting, folks. To give you peace of mind, we're going to purchase on your behalf at eighteen thousand nine hundred dollars. We're going to purchase on your behalf a ninety-day nationwide limited warranty, and it's accepted at a network of dealers nationwide. Um, so you have options because I know, and we always accept warranties, folks. So I'm not trying to say that we wouldn't fix it if. If you have a problem in the first 90 days, which is doubtful, but again, you never know, folks. I've always said, uh, if it's man-made, it's imperfect. I mean, things can break at any time. It doesn't matter if they're new or used. So that's why we give you that 90-day warranty. And it's accepted in a network of dealers nationwide. Because I know, folks, if in the rare occasion that you have, I'm going to put this awning up too, folks. It's starting to get windy out there. In the rare occasion that you do have a warranty claim in the first 90 days, I know so many people, there's no such thing as local buyers anymore thanks to the internet. People travel hundreds, sometimes thousands of miles for a deal like this 
because you look online, folks, you're saving thousands of dollars. And to save $6,000, I don't know about you, but that's worth a little bit of a drive to buy something to save that kind of money. So we buy this warranty. So if you live, say, a 1,000 miles away and you do have, for some reason or another, have a warranty claim the first 90 days, chances are there's a dealer in the network that's a whole lot closer than us that you can take it to for repairs, and you're always welcome to bring it back here as well. So it gives you options, and we buy that on your behalf. Well, that's what's nice about those power awnings, folks. In the old days when you had to get out, Especially if it's one or two in the morning, storm comes up, get out, have to roll it up manually, get dressed, and get out there in the in the rain and roll it up. Now it just push a button. It makes it so much easier. But anyway, it gives you options on where you can take it to get warranty repairs if you have to happen to have to need a warranty repair. And you can also buy you can extend that warranty very affordably. Uh, you can get a year, two year, three year, maybe longer. If you want a quote on an extended warranty from a very reputable warranty company that we've used for a while, um, give my sales department a call. They'll get you a quote. And a lot of times, folks, if you're financing it, it's not that much more a month to add an extended warranty. But that's up to you, folks. Whether you buy the extended warranty or not, at 18.9, you do get a 90-day nationwide limited warranty, which is something that nobody does on used campers without charging you extra for it. You're also, after this unit's been checked out by my RV techs, my cleaning crew is going to get go through it, clean it up inside and out. My service manager, Gordy, is going to do his final walkthrough. If he's satisfied with everything, he'll call you to set up an appointment to pick up your new-to-you bullet premiere. When you arrive here at the appointed time, the RV tech that checked it out knows it better than anybody is going to go through this camper with you and show you everything on our inspection sheet works as well as make sure you know how to operate everything on that inspection sheet. Which, for those of you who've never owned a camper before, right there is, is invaluable information. And you're more than welcome to record them with your phone or camera while he's doing that orientation. He'll answer any questions you have, show you any repairs you had to make, he'll help you hook it to your vehicle, and much more. All that's included, folks, for that 18.9. Plus, we give you 21 nights of free camping, up to seven nights at a time in a 12 month period, and um, at Slate Campgrounds nationwide. And that's also included. That's $1,000 worth of free camping, folks, included. We give you a starter kit with all your camping essentials. You know, you go to other dealerships, you know, you buy a camper, you don't get a sewer hose, you don't get a water hose or pressure reducer or chemicals or toilet paper or adapt or plug-in adapters or any of that stuff, folks. We give you all that stuff included in a big five-gallon bucket, brand new, uh, with no extra charge. And that's option A and B, both. You also get a 45-day drive-out tag, no extra charge, option A and B, both. And we also give you instructional DVDs that you can watch at home with your camper. They're kind of a generic uh, walkthrough video with some invaluable information that I strongly encourage everybody to watch, included option A or B. So that's a lot of stuff for the lowest priced one in the country. Especially, like I said, those that are five or $6,000 higher don't include any of that. And that's not counting... You know, most of you know the, the fee scam that I go about in all my videos where dealers charge a sales price, sales tax, and then they start charging extra fees, which can sometimes amount to thousands of dollars. I charge no extra fees. Those other prices I was talking about that are thousands of dollars higher, many of those dealerships charge extra fees. Dock fees, prep fees, inspection fees, freight fees, setup fees, uh all those fees, folks, are 100% dealer profit, 100% unnecessary to purchase a used or a new camper of any kind, whether it's a, even if it's a motorhome, you don't pay any extra fees. Walk out. Refuse to pay them, folks. Find, go somewhere else and buy if they, if they try to charge you those fees because this is the way I look at it. If they're trying to rip you off on something like that, what else are they trying to rip you off on that you don't see? So, folks, we have no extra fees here. I'm going to close this door. We have, if you finance through our finance department, folks, we're probably the only dealer you're going to find that does not mark interest rates up. You pay the lowest rate we can get you approved for. Now, you go to these other RV dealerships, folks, and you finance a camper, uh, especially the big corporate ones, 
they literally just in rip you off incredibly. What they do, folks, and banks let them do this. I wish they would make this illegal, but it's not. And car dealers do the same thing. When you go through a finance department, what they do, they get you approved for an interest rate. Then they mark that interest rate up, 1%, 2%, 3%, whatever they can get away with. And when people go in there with a certain payment amount in mind, then they know how much money they can make off of you, folks. Never payment shop. When you go to a dealer to buy a car, an RV, whatever it might be, don't ever tell them what you want to pay a month. Go ahead and get you a little payment calculator in your smartphone. Figure out about how much you want to spend for the payments you want, but don't tell the dealer that and stick in that and stick in that confines. You know, if you can afford, if you can go get a twenty grand loan at your local credit union on a camper, get a payment and interest rate from them. Payment will always go in line with how much you finance. And uh, never go in there and payment shop, folks, because they will literally rip you a new one. Uh, yeah, that's, not why, why, that's why you get online, you hear horror stories on YouTube of people who went to these big corporate dealers, bought a camper that was advertised for, say, $30,000 new, been paying on it for a year and a half. They call, get their payoff because they want to trade it, and they owe... Five, six thousand, still owe five or six thousand dollars more than they paid for it. That's because the dealer stuck it to them, folks. Happens all the time. Believe me, I have to tell people bad news all the time that go to these dealerships that want to trade a camper they've been paying on for three years and they still owe more than what it costs brand new. And there's nothing you can do in that situation except keep paying on it or let it go back and ruin your credit. So always read the fine print, never payment shop, folks. Like I said, the payment will fall in line for how much you finance and do your homework. Check with your own bank or credit union and RV loans before camper shopping. An informed buyer, an informed buyer is a smart buyer is going to get the better deal. And I know it's crazy for a dealer like me to tell you this, but we operate completely different than other RV dealerships. We have no haggling on our prices, folks. Now, we can price this thing 24-9 like everybody else's is on the Internet and then charge you extra for the warranty and everything else. Instead, we want to make ours stand out. That's how we sell more. So we put ours for 18 9 instead of 24 9 Now, if you want to haggle, we'll go to 24 9 and we'll start haggling. And we'll just get right here where we're at right now. But if you want to save all that time and trouble, Back and forth, that's a thing of the past because everybody on the internet price shops. Nobody nobody buys an RV because a used RV because it's the because it's the highest priced one. No, they buy it because it's the lowest priced one. Um, it's like buying a TV. You know, you want to buy a 60 inch TV, you're gonna get online, you're gonna check Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, and everywhere else you can think of, and you're gonna to go to the place that has the best price. You're not gonna to go to a place for the TV you want that has the highest price. You're going to go to the lowest price. And it's the same way with used vehicles like campers. And we know that. You know that. So we decided to cut out haggling. Let's put our lowest price out there and sell it for that. And give you all those other benefits as well. And that's why we sell five to 600 used RVs a year. That's why we're one of the oldest, largest, and most successful independently owned used RV dealers in the country today. We've been in business, folks, since 1968. That's coming up on 51 years. And no testimony, folks, of how we operate our business can be any more truthful and any more uh, powerful than that statement right there. 50 plus years, family owned and operated since 1968, selling used campers. Why I know you can't make everybody happy selling used campers. There are buyers out there, believe it or not, who think used campers are new campers for half price. They are used, folks. They're not perfect. I try to show you everything that I see that's not perfect. But again, folks, nothing beats looking at it yourself because everybody has different opinions and different standards on what a four or five year old camper should be in the condition it should be in to be nice enough for them to buy it for them and their family. So that's why I strongly encourage, if you are able to, to come out and look and spend some time in it, get to know it a little bit before deciding to buy it or not. If you let us know you're coming, we'll run power to it and you can do your own inspection. You know, a lot of people get here and they find the camper and we already have it set up for them, plugged up, 
and they decide to go ahead and take a discounted price and buy it as is or what we call our option B price, which is the only way we discount our, our already low asking price by selling it to you as is. No inspection, no orientation, no warranty, no free camping. All we do is give you the camper, a drive-out tag, a starter kit, and a DVD, and we bring the rooms in, hook it to your vehicle, and, and you go. And um, if you want to price on option B, as long as you understand the conditions of an option B sale, we'll be happy to get you a haggle-free price on that. We don't take offers. doesn't matter to us, if, and I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm just... I'm just trying to nip all the questions in the butt that I can. Uh, you know, we don't discount our prices, folks. You got option A or option B. doesn't matter to us if you're paying cash. It doesn't matter if you're financing. It doesn't matter if you're trading or a combination of the three. That's, that's the price. Um, you know, that's what it takes to buy it. And uh, trust me, folks, you wouldn't be watching this video. You wouldn't be calling us or emailing us if it wasn't the lowest priced one you can find especially considering that we give you all those extra benefits for that low price. That's why we sell five to 600 used RVs a year. If you got any questions, folks, give us a call or our, uh, note, our non commissioned sales department, which is also different than other RV dealerships is here to assist you at 706-965-7929. Or you can, uh, email us sales, S A L E S at parkway RV center.com. Go to my website, folks, parkwayrvcenter.com. For those of you on YouTube, I've made it really easy to get to it. Go to the video description below in the first paragraph. There will be a link to take you to my used travel trailer page. You're going to see some incredible buys, folks. But keep in mind, these things are priced to sell, not sit around. They do not last. Sometimes, they, sometimes these things sell in a day or two after posting the video. Sometimes in a matter of an hour or two after the video is getting posted. I mean, this is a deal, folks, that anybody can justify traveling here to Ringo, Georgia, to buy from anywhere in the U.S. or Canada. It's that low under market value. Anyway, folks, our phone number again, 706-965-7929. It's answered 24-7. If it's after hours or on Sunday, we have an answering service. If they can't help you. They will get your contact info and send it to our non-commissioned sales department who will call you back the next business day. And also, folks, I'm working on something on my website. And you know, for those of you who have been watching my videos, subscribe to my channel, you know that I always tell you, if you don't know what your vehicle can tow, to contact your vehicle dealer. And that's still the best way to find out exactly what your vehicle can tow. Uh, but... I'm trying to make it a little easier for my customers. I'm working on something with my website developers and um, where you'll be able to put in your vehicle information, but you've got to have intimate knowledge of your vehicle. you got to know your motor size. you got to know your rear end gear ratio and much more. And what it will do is once you type in your vehicle information on my website, and this will be set up hopefully after January 1st. I'm, I've been working on it in my spare time. It will also show you um, what your vehicle can tow, and it will show you a list. It will populate a list of all the campers that I have in stock that's in your tow range. Now, yes, it's deemed reliable, but it's not guaranteed to have the accurate information for your tow, for your tow vehicle. It's still doesn't replace the fact that you still need to call your vehicle dealer if you didn't find out when you when you bought it what your vehicle can tow um, but this will make it easier and you can go on that but still folks I do highly recommend checking with your dealer it's one of those things better safe than sorry and I will uh, I, I should have that live maybe before the first of the year um, maybe hopefully here in the next few days it just depends on how we get along with it and, of course, there'll be bugs, of course, but it will be pretty neat uh, once we get everything worked out that you'll be able to see every camper I have in stock that your vehicle can tow. Make it easier, folks. So, um, parkwayrvcenter.com, save it to your favorites. I post videos every day. I post units on there every day. We get units in about every day. Um, if you got any questions about that, 706-965-7929 is our phone number. 
thank you for watching. Nationwide deliveries available, financing is available with approved credit. Minimum 10% down payment is mandatory. Cash or trade equity. We take trade ins. One more time, our phone number is 706 965 7929. Um, thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.